porn, no star. She's something like a super freak. Hey, I never seen her on tape before. But when she go low, she a professional. No way. You know what's crazy? We both said, hey, at the same <laughs> time. Niggas is filth gods. I am Jay Mills. I'm Young Lennox. And this is the Loud Opinions Podcast, Podcast. episode 12. 12. Yeah, man. Happy yeah. Father's Day to all the fathers. All the fathers out there, man. The real uh, rights. Yeah, man. You know, expect. What should you expect on Father's Day? Socks. Expect socks, Drawers. tank tops, some new boxer briefs. Cologne. That's, oh, for Father's Day? I, oh, that's the fire get up. You know you're getting a new bottle. You, you know. You know you're getting a new bottle. You know when y'all go shopping, you be like, yeah, I saw I like that little joint, that little uh, Dior we was looking at. So Look, like, for Father's Day, you're getting underwear and cologne. That's it. And the mail. It is what it is, that's man. That's it. How you feel, man? How was, your, how was your last week? My last week was good, man. You know what I'm saying? Praise be to God, I'm here in the flesh, breathing, living with the people, with the opinionated crew. Shout out to the whole opinionated crew. Uh, we hope we hope y'all grown with us. We hope y'all like, you know, how we just going about this whole situation. We started off a little, started off a little shaky, a little rocky the first couple of weeks, first and couple episodes. Well, but that's trial and error, though. I just want to let all of the no. listeners and viewers know we are loving this shit. To the dedicated max. to it. We we love coming in here every week. Chopping it up with the Smoking fans. good. Smoking, you know what I'm saying? Giving our loud opinions. Is, you know, we're very Literally. opinionated, but we full of the loud when we're doing it. And this is a platform where you can agree to disagree. Agree. You it's know what so I'm saying? A lot, of, a lot of people in this world, they don't know how to agree to disagree. So the Loud Opinions podcast is that's a platform. That's what we do, man. That's what, that's what we're here we for. we agree to disagree, and that's how you live stress-free. That's, yes, that's, sir. that's the best way to do it, man. Couldn't say I said it no better, you know. Yeah, man. What, how you feel about uh, the whole Rayshard Brooks situation, the way it's playing out? Oh, we talking about it last week. Garrett, Rolf, or Rue, whatever the fuck what, your I don't name give a, is. I don't even know your fucking 11 name. 11 charges. Man Felony could, murder. Man, Felony murder, man. Man could possibly face the death penalty. And that's all right with me. Let's clap it up. Yeah, man. Let's clap it up for the culture, man. I'm, I'm, I'm cool. With yes. that. I'm cool with that, man. I'm cool. Yes. I'm, I'm cool with Officer Garrett, whatever the fuck his last name is. But I feel like they're going to, um, something's going to come out, though. Because, you know, like them dirty cops, they usually got like a bad what do you, record. What do you mean? What do you mean something's going to come up? Like, when I mean that, it's like all like cops that done kill somebody black, Always have like a bad record on them. Always fucking with people. Always doing dumb shit. So you know something. Something's gonna come about, man. I'm sure. I'm pretty sure this wasn't the first time he didn't had an altercation with a black person. I'm pretty this sure. This is America. It wasn't. I'm pretty sure it wasn't. Um, it really wasn't. It's so many. It's so many different uh, cases of pro- police brutality mm-hmm. going on right now. It's like, damn, you. it's hard to keep up. It's like one week is this one, one right. week is that one, one week is in this state, one week is in this state, one week is in this city, the next week. Right. It's just so much, man, so... And we don't mean to, like, keep running this in the hole, yeah, but this is, like, here every week the matter at hand, though. This is what we're dealing with. We have to talk about it. You know what have I'm saying? To. Even if you don't want to address certain situations, you have to address the climate of... What's going How on? How we living right now? Yeah. What's going on? You this know, shit so is real. They hit. They hit. Uh, Rayshard Brooks murderer with eleven charges. Yes, thank God. Felony murder. Thank I heard. God. I heard he could face the death penalty. I'm well, hundred. I'm hundred percent. If that's what that. it's going to be, then because the way they did him was that was filthy, filthy, filthy super, man. super filthy. Man. He could have easily got him a tow truck. He could have drove him home. He could have yeah. been like, you know what? Let me take you home to your family, man. Yeah, he could have easily. Easily. Did that, easily. But now everything is different for him, so that's how it works. That's how, that's how, <laughs> that's how it works. That's how now it you works, got man. 11 charges. Figure and, it out. And we're still waiting to see about um, Breonna Taylor uh, yeah, situation. They, they definitely need to be arrested and um, dealt with as well. Justice still need to be seen in that situation. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, we're going to pray on that every still. day. George Floyd, still. 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 We need, like... We need guilty. <laughs> right. We need to hear guilty four times. Right. You know? Uh, now, nah, not to get off topic, this just came to mind. I need to see what the fuck is going on with um with Homeboy who killed Nip. 
Like yo, that, they really I, yo, swept that under you. the rug. Like I, I'm sorry to get off topic, but for real, like nah, nah, what's, nah. What's going We're not getting on with topic. that though? When you really think about it, it's like, yo, what happened with the Nipsey Hustle case? Like what? Swept under we, the we, rug. Like, like, ladies and gentlemen, we live in California, Los yes. Angeles. Like we record this show. Like I always tell you, we record this show, we film this show, and. California and we be out here. In these we streets, ain't really man. been hearing too much of what's. I haven't heard what's going nothing. on with that case. They kind of like he got locked up, blah blah blah. And you heard something know his dad work at the courthouse or mm-hmm. some shit, whatever, whatever. And then it's just that was it. I felt like it was a setup though, low key. Like the government for sure has something to do with that because it it happened too easy and he just got away and just like kind of faded into the dark. But yeah. we're not going to forget you, Nip. We're going to make sure, never, you know, that we seek justice with that too, man, for definitely, real, for real. Definitely rest in peace, Nipsey Hussle. Yes, yes. Still a, still super sad, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, that's why I be saying, like, a lot of times, I don't be wanting to see a lot of this footage because you can't unsee it. Can't unsee you know it. what I'm saying? Like, I didn't see, I always tell people, I didn't see when Big L got shot. I didn't see nope. when, you, well, we did see, we didn't see the actual gunshots, but we saw footage the of aftermath. when Biggie got mm-hmm. hit. You know Empire, what I'm saying? Yep. We saw footage of the aftermath of Pac, but mm-hmm. we watched Nipsey get murdered. In front you know of what I'm saying? Story, and yes, I can't unsee it. it. So it's like a lot of shit I don't be wanting to see. And it's like every time I think about it, it's just like, ah, fucked up, man. Rest in peace to Nipsey Hustle, though. Definitely. Yes, I don't know what's going on with that case with dude. They definitely swept that under the rug. They they real good with that. They, You know? Man, that's that's what they do, man. But we're going to see about that, man. We're going to make sure you get your, your just do, Nip. Yeah, yeah. Just like all of these, all of these hangings. Like, yeah, the what the fuck What's is that going about? on with all of these people just hanging? All these lynchings and no cameras, like we said last week. No camera Something ain't footage. adding up. I'm sorry. This ain't We right. got footage of everything. Every fucking thing. But we don't got no footage of. You're not going to tell me your city hall, no cameras. Come on now. I look stupid. I look fucking stupid to you. Another thing we was talking about uh, last week, we was talking about... Uh, the hidden donations. Oh, like yes, yes. The hidden donation destination. You know what I'm saying? Like, where is the money going? Man, you was telling I... me something earlier about uh, only 200000 of the $30 million. Right. The, uh, and this is, this is yeah. from the Minnesota Freedom Fund. 200000 of the $30 million was used to bail out protesters. So where is the rest of the money? I need to know. Because it should have been at least a mill or two to bail out all these protests, all these people turned up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? All the freedom fighters and shit, like, y'all got to get them the fuck out of there. But I'm pretty sure there's a lot of them still sitting there right now, no money, no judge, no nothing. No nothing, man. This is the worst time to get locked up, too, y'all, for real. So. I was so, telling y'all that a couple episodes ago. Yeah. Like, man, this is the worst time to have to go through the system and have to get a court date, you know, wait to the see worst. the judge. You know, like, this is the worst time, man. So I always tell people, stay stay blessed, stay safe. Stay prayed up, man. Stay safe. Mm-hmm. Stay, I mean, stay stay blessed, stay safe, and stay out the way. You know That's what I'm saying? It. Just like my man says, stay prayed up and just stay out of the way, man, because you, you never know what you're walking outside to. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace, prodigy, but... There's a war going on outside. outside no man, man is safe from. from. You could run, but you can't, can't hide, hide from forever. Ever. You know oh, what I'm man. saying? He said that 25 years ago. You know what I'm relevant. saying? Like, and you really think about that right now? It's a war going on outside. Yeah. No man is safe from. Yeah, it's just real, man. I think he was like 19 when he said that, right? <laughs> so you just to I, let you know, 25 Mar- years ago, Mar- Prodigy you know Havoc. Yeah, shout out to y'all, man. Legends, one of the, man. One fucking of the, legends. One of the best. Uh, hip hop groups. Ever. Oh, while we talking about Prodigy, you um, you know who Santana Fox is? You ever heard of her? Rapper, female. Mm-mm. She's Prodigy daughter. She's twenty one. Word. She fire too. She do all that underground hip hop shit. I said, ooh. You know that's our shit. We I said, that. ooh. I never, I never heard. I never. Now heard yeah, I gotta put you on it. Shout out yeah, to Santana yeah, Fox, man. Shit. For real, for real. Definitely, definitely. Um, got off course a little mm-hmm. bit. What was you telling me earlier about um? Oh yeah, the young young black queen, man. R.I.P. the Toyin, you know, on the front line representing for her people, man, for the women, for the black culture. 
um, tragic event. Uh, she got found, uh, her, her body got found after she tweeted about being sexually assaulted. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Young 19 year old black queen, man. It's a uh, heartfelt situation. You said because she was out there protesting. Yeah, she was out there like, protesting on the front line with the people. You know what I'm saying? She was like really being a voice. She was jumping in front of them cameras and the news and everything, news yeah. reporters. And um, yeah, man, we got to really protect our black queens, man. Yeah. We, every, we all got mothers, sisters, aunts, grandmothers. That's, that's the future. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's the future of our nation, man, for real, for real. That's how, that's how you... That's how we're the, here. That's how you keep the family going. You know for what I'm real. saying? That's, the, that's, how, that's how you really multiply yourself. You know what I'm saying? For real. If, if you ain't, if you don't have, if your queen can't reproduce and, and re, recreate life, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Your, your, uh, your family tree, your, your bloodline going to be short. Like, right, right. None of us are here to just, like, once it's over, it's over. It's like, nah, I want to leave. I want to leave a daughter behind. I want to yeah. leave a few daughters behind. Right. I want to leave a few kids behind. A few, a for few your boys legacy, behind. Yeah. Yeah, man. Like, that's how you keep it going. And they leave kids behind. And they carry on and the name. And they keep going, keep it going. You know what I'm saying? I always tell people, it ain't about the J, it's about the Mills. Right. You know what I'm saying? It ain't about Jarvis. It's about Mills. The Mills Even family, when yeah. J Mills is done as a rapper, J Mills is done as a podcaster or mm -hmm. a director, director. a mm -hmm. producer, whatever it is, when that when all of that shit is said and done, you still got your last name. My man. daughter is still a Mills. She still carries on Mills. My right. brother, Ralph, mm -hmm. he's a Mills. You know what I'm saying? His son, Jarvis, he's mm -hmm. a Mills. Right. So, and when they have kids, they're going to carry on the Mills too. You yep. know what I'm saying? It's, it, it's not a thing like a carrying on a Jay Mills thing, and I want to be clear on that because my daughter's name is Journey, so that's Journey Mills. Mm -hmm. Still Jay Mills. My brother's name is Jarrell. Shout, yep. to, shout out to Mac. His name Mac, is Jarrell. His son name is Jarris. Mm -hmm. So we're all Jay Mills. Mills right, you know what I'm right. saying? My cousin, uh, which is mixed, you know what I'm saying? This is why, you, you know, I always get into the other, well, that's a whole other conversation, but my cousin that's mixed, his name is Jordan Mills. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, Half black, half Colombian. He's a J Mills. Right. You know what he I'm is, saying? But so. it's it's all about but that's Mills. It. It's, exactly. it's about carrying that last on name. You gotta carry your last name, man. name, man. So once again, we kinda got off course a little bit, but it's definitely about carrying on legacy, man. Like and yes, and protecting our queens, man. We have to at all costs. At all costs. We gonna we gonna get we gonna get justice for uh Cause they're gonna be the voice. Of this protest, and until we get changed, they like, are. Trust they, me, they are the voice. They are, they the, are voice. the voice. Like they we were saying man. earlier, uh, when we was talking about Dave Chappelle shit last week, and he said some shit about uh, young young world. This is this is yeah. I'm 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 comfortable being in the back seat. Right. Do your thing. You know what I'm but saying. He's still keep, gonna keep ride. Going. With you. I'm riding with right. you, but. I've been on the front lines before. I've been your age. I, right. I, I've been angry for for decades. Right. Now y'all angry. <laughs> And I, I'm, I'm with y'all. Right. Fuck shit up. You know what I'm saying? But I'm cool with sitting in the back seat And watching, yeah. And when you were saying, like, this is it's a new generation, it's like bringing us to the next topic, like the messaging Lil Baby song. Oh, powerful right The messaging man. Powerful. J. Cole. I've been telling you, I'm like, yo, when Cole and Ken, and I, look, I understand I'm a rapper. Right. So sometimes it's kind of weird to hear me talk about other rappers. But that's we listen to niggas though. We listen to niggas mm -hmm. for one. All rappers are fans of other, other rappers. rappers. Right. That's one thing. There's nothing wrong with that. But you you won't hear me talk negative about No, we're never doing that. Other rappers work. Like if I ain't really got nothing good to say we're about We're not going to even nigga, say nothing. I'm just like, yeah. all right, cool. Keep it pushing. Like, I ain't really I ain't really gonna drift into that. Yeah. But if I could shed light on some dope shit about because I like I'm still an artist, so I understand what it's like when it's like, damn, you pick that to make a segment out of to highlight that. Like right, you, you could have right. spoke about anything, anything else, bro. Like why you gotta make and talking you, down on somebody yeah, else. Yeah, you're doing some nah, shade man. room shit to me, my nigga. Like what are you and they, you a listen, rapper? They got their job sound, already. Right. Now it sound like you hate them. them. Yep, it's like, yep. nah, that's why I told you like when we first started this. We ain't town. I don't really want to give reviews on rappers' albums and rappers' shows. We do that amongst each other. Uh, we do no. that amongst each other, but if I am going to do it on our platform, I want to do it in a way where I'm pointing out the shit that I like. Right. I don't really want to point out the shit that I don't like because I could, 
I'm a fucking cranky Virgo, and I could find something I don't like in the most <laughs> precious, beautiful thing in the world. So it's still be like, nah, I'd rather up, I, over the years I learned just build on the positive, don't right. build on the negative. So if I ain't really got no good light to shed on no artist, ain't even gonna no go artist there, shit, I ain't even gonna go there. But Lil Baby and J. Cole, the message in they shit, two different messages. Like J. Cole went from a perspective of him. Mm-hmm. Like, this is how I felt when I saw what Homegirl right. said. And then I bumped into the dude and he told me this shit. Da, 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 mm-hmm. And I felt like, damn, right. I don't do enough. Because they expect them to be on the front line, though. You and know, because when you got albums like For Your Eyes Only, it's like, nah, J. Cole, we need you out there. And then on the flip side of it, Lil Baby shit is coming from, I felt like the J. Cole song was coming from Snow Snow on the Bluff, the mm-hmm. song we talking about, J. Cole new song. Um, I felt like J. Cole song was coming from uh, the perspective of Cole and where he at mentally, right. the industry, everything that's going on, feeling like he could speak up and say more, mm-hmm. but he haven't, you know, getting it from from this from the sister over right. here, getting it from dude at the gas station. Everybody blah, blah, blah. on his back, yeah. But little baby shit just sound like that generation that's like, like, he, like yes. fuck this shit. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, like fuck all this like, money. He these might cars, not be nice enough to articulate it the way J. Cole did it and like from perspective. But it was and, still heartfelt. But I felt that shit. I yeah. felt every word that he was saying right. when he was talking about all cops ain't bad cops. Like, uh-huh. He didn't have to say that. He could have just mashed on it. Right. But nah, he's he, he you know what I'm saying? Cool, like though. he was like a real like like that new generation like that like yeah, niggas that, in their young twenties. That's and how they all feel. That. Yeah. That's how they feel. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They ain't just they ready to ride though. And I get it because I a couple weeks ago I said I was like, why why niggas fucking up Louie? Why mm-hmm. they not it's not necessarily they fucking it up because they can't afford it or oh we, it's time for us to get some designer shit. They probably it's taking like, out their nah, anger, let's man. Fuck yeah. the money up. That's fuck yeah, all It's like the money how he was talking about Kyrie. Mm-hmm. All of this shit about not wanting to play in the playoffs, blah, 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 let's sit out, nah, nah, nah. Even though I felt like that was a little crazy if he didn't speak to, like, because Chris Paul is, like, the president of the, yep. the, the, the I think, the, the uh, Players Association mm-hmm. shit. Like, Chris Paul is the head of the, the players shit, basically. And he said what he said. He ain't even chop it up with Chris Paul. I heard, I heard he just said that. You know, Kyrie be on his other shit, like, her yeah, flat Ky- shit. Kyrie fuck don't him. give a fuck, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But. Neither hand on that. Yeah, that's how a lot of people of this generation, like, they just, they re- they going to rebel, they going to revolt mm-hmm. different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everything is going to be different. So, I don't know. What you think about, what you think about, like, Cole joining Lil Baby shit? Just the music that, um. like, that's coming out right now. Because you can put out some party shit. You but I can. feel like if you if you talk some real shit right it's now, it's gonna be accepted. That's what people want to hear right now. They want to hear the real. They don't want to hear bitch this, bitch that. I'm in the club throwing hundreds because nobody's doing that. And then a nigga who rapping, I'm in the club throwing hundreds. They can't even get in a type of bag. You know what I'm saying? Some niggas ain't that versatile, so it's kind of hard for them. Yeah. So if you ain't if, like mostly the music that's been coming out though, been on some like political shit yeah. from a political view because it's like you know. The way the world we living in, man. Mm-hmm. So, um, from an artist's perspective, that's dope, man. I'm loving it. You know, I, I did a whole uh, pro black Langston Sun project. So, yeah, and that shit was dope. You know, I remember when you was working on it. You was playing me the shit when we was in the car riding yeah. around. I was like, nah, this shit is dope. This and it was a coincidence, you know. That I put that shit out before the protests and all this crazy shit happened. So it just lets you know, because we, we just shot another one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They you know MVS. They MVS. Intro if, record. If y'all ain't, if y'all ain't see the uh, last video that I shot on my boys called the Joy. Right. It's av- available right now. Right this second, on all man. Streaming YouTube, platforms, streaming but it's platforms. available on YouTube. You can make sure you check it out. Yes, it's sir. Called the Joy, directed by Jay Mills. You know, we got another one on the way. Yeah. Fire. Um, they envy they, us. They envy us. Mm-hmm. We just shot that one, but I'm editing it. I'm editing it down right now. So but wait, we did your um even in the crisis. We just shot, I shot even that in for the you. crisis too. I just posted the little snippet on the gram. Man, wait see y'all see of, that's some fucking heat. And, and you want to premiere it on this show the, or even uh or you just gonna put it out? You know what? You know what? You know what? I'm a uh I mean you got time to think about it, but that would be fire though. Get the people some nah, shit. Nah, fuck that. Let's let's uh nah. Next 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 week. next week. All right, next ne- week, ne- next week, next week, week next episode. Week. We're gonna put out even in the crisis, man. Next week, man. Next week, next week. But if you haven't heard, 
even in a crisis, I let it. Uh, I let it rock at the end of the episode. Poet Music Five, right? Poet po Music Five. Yes. All right, right now, man. Go get that fucking fire. Digital streaming platforms, definitely. Um, I try not to come in here and promote. I was just my thinking music. that, but it's like you know what's crazy? This is our like shit though, we so. have like we be putting out wild shit, and we always just come in here and just have cool convo. That's chop that's it what up here with for. listeners, and we never come in here and just like try to force feed them our shit. Like, well, I think they're gonna love that though that we separate in the, the two. Yeah, yeah, because you don't have to listen to my music. You know what I'm saying? For real. You, know, you might you know, just want to listen and watch this podcast. You might just day like, night. That's cool be with into me. the conversation. You might just be into the, the the fucking shit that we talk about and the way that we talk about it. Like mm-hmm. you might just be into that. You might do the same thing with your people. Smoke. See, that's smoke what I, that's what my homeboys is telling me. You know? Like, like when they homeboys be kicking it, smoking and all that. That's the same shit we do. That's the what they thing. doing. So they like, can relate to this listening shit. Listening to the Loud Opinions podcast while you chilling with your peoples and mm-hmm. smoking. Like, yeah, man. You know. We don't gotta we don't gotta every five minutes I'm not about to yo poet music five available right now like <laughs> fam. It's like yo Mills, look check We're this out, yo. <laughs> fam, we don't give a fuck about poet music five right now. Just keep talking about the shit that's oh, going on right now. Yeah. Shout out to everybody that's downloading and streaming Poet Music Five. I appreciate it. I appreciate the love. Everybody that's uh checking out the videos, that's fucking yeah. the joy video. We getting a lot of good feedback on the joy video. Great feedback. A lot great of good feedback. feedback. When y'all see this, they envy us shit. Next level. Next level. I'm taking my editing to a new level. I'm yeah, fucking man. Let, let them talk I'm your shit. With Pop more your shit right now, man. Pop your shit, man. Effects and all of that shit. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm getting serious with this editing, man. Millsy Vision. That shit is, shit is intense. Uh, did you see the Five Bloods? The new, no, the new I, Spike I told you Lee, I kept the passing new Spike it up. Lee Netflix film. I didn't. Nah, I just watched uh, Black's Klansman, though. You seen that before? Hell yeah, that's a uh, Spike Lee joint. Where a uh, dude put, portray like he yeah. a part of the yep. KKK or yep. something. Yep, yep, yep. I was just watching that shit for the first time. That was Denzel Washington's son that played in that, right? Oh, I don't know. I, I think that know. I think that was this dude with the afro. Yeah, with the afro. Yeah. Yeah, I think that was Denzel Washington's son. Oh Clint. shit! See, I, I learned some new shit right here yeah. in front of y'all face. Yeah. I did not know that. For real, for real. But nah, I didn't catch that. Um. New joint, the, uh, the Five Blood. What was it about, though? The Five Bloods. The Five Bloods is about five uh, black dudes that was in Vietnam. Mm-hmm. And what happened was one of them died in Vietnam. And they have found, like, a, a thing of gold. Okay. So I'm, I'm telling you the movie, but I'm really telling you. I'm still going to watch it. But what I'm right. telling you is the summary that you would read on fucking Netflix. Oh, I'm cool. I'm, I'm, I'm cool I'm, with I'm that. I'm cool with that. that. I'm cool with that. In my own words. Okay. All right, cool. So one of their, uh, one of their uh, soldiers died when they was in Vietnam. Mm-hmm. And before he died, they had found, like, a bunch of bars of gold. So they coming back to Vietnam now, today, to try to find that goal from the Vietnam War. From, yeah, from yeah. years ago? From years ago. Oh, my God. Years ago. Spike be doing some shit. I got to watch it, man. He be on top of his head. Some wild yeah. shit. But in, it, it's dope the way they do it because they show like, like they be talking about, oh, if they want to do a real movie, they could do it about uh, Christmas Addicts. They, they could do it about Melvin so-and-so, so-and-so. And right. they'll show who that is on the screen and what he did and right. what year. And they show what year, like, this happened with yeah, and I guess it's trying to show you like a timeline of everything that was happening around the time of the Vietnam War right. and all of that shit. But I don't want to tell you the the whole movie because it sounds good of, though. It's a lot well, of I watched shit that, that shit happened, tonight though for sure. It was a it was a good movie. It was a good movie the way that they flash back and forth. You know, I like shit that will tell you the story, but then go back into the story and then come back up. To, who was who that? Um, Madam C J Walker shit was like that. Mm-hmm. That was that was fire too. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Now we talking about Netflix. Did you see the uh, the Black Lives Matter list on Netflix? They got all the black movies in one folder. Like, come on, man. Come I on, didn't. Man. I I I think I did see that. I think I did see that. It's like y'all y'all pushing it, man. Y'all ain't gotta do all of that. We've been like like people say we black people been here, man. Yo, We've been and it, living, it man. It brings me right back to this because we kind of like we kind of like smooth sailed past this topic. Yo, two hundred thousand. Talk of about thirty it. million. 30, do the math though in your head. Two hundred thousand of thirty and million. Then they, and then they saying like 
it's confidential information on how they did like spread the donations. I told you last week, man. Some funky shit it is, is some, going on. It is some y'all think y'all think the some niggas y'all know in the hood be scamming. On. Like y'all think the niggas in your in, in your hood be scamming. <laughs> Why like, do they call it white collar crimes, that? my boy? Oh my god, white collar crime with no tie. With no tie, niggas nigga. just button that shit up. Like they don't even wear ties no more. Niggas just button oh it up on you god. and tear you up. Oh, you had to talk about funding. Did you hear about when they um like the the news casters? You could get stocks on, like, say if they showing George Floyd shit, like the white people buy stocks for certain topics that come on the news, and they make money off of that. Whoa. I ain't going to lie. You just, this what, 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 world Yo. premiere, what, what, world premiere, world premiere. I, I ain't hear that one. You ain't hear I that, didn't one? Hear that one? It, so, like, elaborate. Channel 7, Channel 5, 9, 11, you know, your local news stations. So, what people do is, well, the, the, the white folks, the white racist folks, but, um... What they do is, no, nah, not all white folks are racist, but you know, they, they, they're saying, we ain't want to spend too much time on them. But anyway. Oh, no, so I wasn't they, saying about that. I was fixing my fucking shirt. Oh, you good? Shit, if that's how you feel. <laughs> this, this is our shit, man. <laughs> but yeah, so what feel. they do is they buy stocks into like the, um, the, sub, the subjects, like um, police brutality and all that. And like mostly things against black people, man. I never knew that you could buy stocks into those stations about topics and make money off of that. Damn, man. It's like every day is some new I shit. I didn't know that. I'm, I'm, I'm not even going to sit up here and act like... I was reading it. I was I like, that's, that's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. I could, But it's not hard to believe. No, not at all. It's not nowhere near living. hard to believe what you just told me. So, fuck, man. We got a long ways, man. Even after, I feel like even after I'm dead and going, this shit still ain't going to be... Ain't going to be right. It ain't going to be right. Mm-mm. It ain't. We ain't going to make up no 400 years in <laughs> four months. Nah. Mm-mm. Oh, man. Oh, one more thing before we get up this topic, man. Shout out to Pharrell. They just made Juneteenth for a national holiday in Virginia, mm-hmm. an off-paid holiday for the people. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So shout out shout, to him, shout man. Out to yes. Shout out to Pharrell. Shout out to Pharrell. Shout out to doing VA. Great shit. Always, always, always. Shout out to VA. You see a lighter, bro? Uh, I ain't got my shit. Yeah, man. My bad. I'm slipping. I got my blunt rolled, though. That's crazy. Uh, yeah. While we talking about like shit and entertainment and all that, um, I don't know. I don't even know why I come in here <laughs> and I ask him about thirty for thirties. I don't know why. Listen, I'm, y'all. I like, really why watch am I TV. Even, why am I even? Y'all like, getting to know I ain't even us. Gonna lie, I'm about to stop even talking about thirty for thirties on this show because I know this should be looking <laughs> crazy. Like, you ain't see B Water. You ain't see the fucking Lance part one, part two. You you saw like Listen. a bunch of all of the last dances though. So I'm not gonna hold that. Oh against yeah, you. I did. I watched every single one. I'm not gonna hold that. I didn't play that. But play the that. new thirty for thirty, right? All right? Let me let me just talk about this real quick. And 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 this episode is sponsored by Peach Tree Exotics. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my homegirl Jada Stevens. You know. Send us another right pack now, when you get a chance, right. man. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah, yeah. Shout we, out to we, you, though. We, we need another. When you, when we, you we, get ready, though. When you get ready. Yeah, we're, we're not rushing you. We're not rushing you, you know. Appreciate the love. But, uh, yeah, shout out to Pizza Tree Exotic. I'm smoking on some Porn Star OG. We're going to get into the Porn Star Versus, too. After, after everything else, we're gonna though, get we into got the our porn shit. Star versus. We're going to get into that. You know what I'm saying? But just want to let y'all know what I'm smoking on right now. Uh, the 30 for 30... Long Gone Summer. I believe that's the name of it, Long Gone Summer. Um, it's about Mark McGuire Sam, and Sammy Sosa when they had that that chase. They was trying to beat... Uh, they had the home run record, right? Yeah, the home, the home run record. I was definitely watching them games. Yeah, Ken Griffey was in there for a mm-hmm. while with them, and then they just took off on my man, Ken Griffey. Like, yeah. He's still a legend, Because he, right. he wasn't juicing like them. Them niggas was fucking juice heads. I t- remember I told you that the season Mark McGuire got niggas, wild big. The niggas was fucking human ocean sprays just walking the room. <laughs> Mark McGuire and Sammy Sosa was human ocean sprays. Them the niggas, niggas was, like, was just walking around full of fucking juice, man. So this is the thing. I, I wasn't mad at, because they're not the only ones that got caught cheating. So I'm not sitting up here saying anything crazy like I'm mad at. Oh, I know where you're going with this shit. We talk about that shit the other day. Now, I was just saying this with Lance Armstrong, right? 
um, I was asking you, do you think him cheating, cycling, overpowered him beating cancer? That was a conversation we had. Right. And and Lance Armstrong's 30 for 30, oh, the, the cheating shit was highlighted. To the max. Like, if it was two parts to his story, one and a half of both of those parts about was cheating. about cheating, right? He interviewed the people and all that shit. So I'm watching Sammy Sosa and Mark McGuire shit, and it's two hours, right? That sound fire, though. It was. But after a while, like, I got like an hour and 40 minutes in. I'm like, damn, this shit got like 20 minutes left. I'm like, they ain't say they ain't shit. about they ain't this juice then. nothing about these niggas cheating yet. But I'm, but I'm letting them rock. They didn't say nothing about these dudes cheating yeah, What did they, they do the last 20 minutes? So it got to like... <laughs> I, I remember I looked up on the on the, uh, the display, and I had thirteen. It was a, on a commercial. It was coming back from the last commercial break. It had thirteen minutes left, right? So when it came on, it started talking about oh how they got yeah. It was all ruined in a way because this came up, and then they started talking. They brought up a, a, a video of Barry Bonds. Mm, he a legend too. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. y'all just spent. An hour and 47 minutes praising Mark McGuire and Sammy Sosa. And then when we get to Barry Bonds, the You're first thing you say, yeah, and today Barry Bonds was found guilty. Barry Bonds, uh, Gary Sheffield, and I think Craig Biggio. Like, mm-hmm. And I'm like, but well, hold on. Why, is, why are you even mentioning their names in this documentary about Sammy Sosa and Mark McGuire chasing the home run record? Well, y'all have sneak that in there, slide it in there. Oh, they slid the Barry Bonds, Gary Sheffield, and Biggio in there so easily. Like, hey, so you you watching this far, so. And then I didn't know, like, so they Sammy Sosa can't go back to Wrigley, Wrigley Field. That's at the Chicago. I'm like, damn, they treated Sammy like how they did the Fab Five, like in yeah, Michigan. In Michigan, yeah. How they did Reggie Bush in USC, how they did Pete Rose. Mm-hmm. But they let Jawan Howard to come back. Like they let uh, Pete Rose is still banned. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But Mark McGuire is in the Hall of Fame. They ain't take that boy out the Hall of Fame, though. You, you know what I'm saying? Money like, on that. He, he, he juiced. He, yeah. he cheated. Now, I'm, this is like a real They ain't take Sammy out either, right? Hmm? They ain't take Sammy out either, right? Sammy I don't even think they put him in. I don't, that, and that's the thing I'm talking about. It's like, all right, so in the streets, we, we always say, uh, if he Damn snitched, it. it don't matter what he did before. It don't matter how fly he was, how much money he was getting. If he matter. ratted, he can't be in that same boat of the stand-up niggas who went and did their time, came Real home, talk. and just, you know, whatever, whatever. So why are we acting like Mark McGuire? Because I know people was like, because I'm like, I don't feel Barry Bonds should get that credit neither, even though he was the truth. Mm-hmm. But once we find out that you was juicing, that that overpowers everything that you did before. Right. And that's what, in the, in the 30 for 30, that's, that, that's basically my conclusion, what I came to. Right. It's like, why are we making it seem like Mark McGuire, like everything was so great? Like, nah, he cheated. And like let's cheated. let's if we gonna specify Point something, blank, let's specify he cheated. Him, Jose Canseco, All them Sammy niggas. Sosa, Alex yes. Rodriguez. Like if you going if you gonna say it, make sure you let it be known that all of them cheated. Don't make it seem like, oh yeah, but because I don't I'm not a believer that when Mark McGuire got caught cheating is when he started cheating. I believe that you was juicing since you was 15, 16, yeah. 17, yeah. since you was in the minors. You just yeah. happened to get caught because testing changed and shit like that. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. When I looked at that, I was like, damn, that was a little shaky that for an hour and 47 minutes, they didn't really say anything about Sammy or Mark McGuire. No, nah, you know, steroids. agents and was probably involved with when that. When they came back from commercial, they showed a clip of Barry Bonds and how he was guilty and Gary Sheffield. And they just threw See, a bunch I don't of like that. Like, I don't like that, man. I don't, I don't I'm like, like why y'all, that, like, if we was going to do this 30 for 30, we should have did a 30. I would like to see a 30 for 30 on the dark steroids shit. and yeah. baseball. Yes. Let's talk you about know what I'm it. Saying? A, whole, a whole hour, hour and a half. Let's I ain't never heard it. of nobody in the NBA getting suspended for human Ju- growth yeah. hormones. Not at all. So that's the 30 for 30 I'm waiting to see. Mm-hmm. 
Um, yeah, man. But uh, 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 this is episode 11. This is episode 11 of the Loud Opinions podcast. If you're still here with us. Episode 12. This is episode 12. See, see this see, this is what we're talking about. The nigga be here smoking, talking. His mom be going to the moon. Yes, yes. <laughs> So I'm gonna just continue you this shit myself. Cause he don't he he's still an episode. He's on an old episode. I'm on a new shit. I don't know. I'm here by myself. It's a lot of opinions podcast, man. It's a lot of it's a lot of smoking going on. You all right, my brother? You good? Look at look at the nigga trying to light his blunt. I'm fucking crying. <laughs> but anyway, man. Since this we on our, our our TV shit, man. Um, shout out to the cast of Insecure, man. I apologize, people. Yeah, apo- yeah. Before I start, man, that's that's fucked up, man. To the listeners, man. I apologize. Fuck it. I apologize, man. Look, he human, man. We gonna I apologize, man. But gag, yeah, just keep it, just keep <sighs> yeah. it going, man. Anyway. It's insecure. Yeah, man. I don't watch Insecure. I probably ain't watched Insecure since like, homie had beat on the couch in the studio. Oh yeah, you like What's second that? season? Second season. I remember. Yeah, that's all I remember. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you're late, my brother. That's why I was like, I'm too, it's too late to catch up. So, yeah. like, fuck it. You might as well just tell fuck me what's yeah. going on. All right, so, yeah, so um, season four just ended. Shout out to Issa Rae. Shout out to Kerry Washington, J.R. Lewis. You know what I'm saying? All the writers and directors over there doing their thing, man. I'm loving what they do. Showing Ingle with some love. But, um, yeah, man, um, season four was, was definitely it, man. Uh, my boy Lawrence. Oh, he caught chlamydia one season. He was popping him and Issa broke up. He was popping all the joints. Chlamydia, bro. Yes, he broke chlamydia. Yeah, he got chlamydia, like a, man. And he was calling all the joints in his like phone. like junior high school disease. I know. That's that's why, yeah, I know. Not not saying people in junior high school catch chlamydia, but... But that's a like young the, people... That's a teenager thing. Like, let's just be honest. Another, that's another conversation. Yeah, that's, that's neither here nor there. I was about to say something crazy. Just forget it. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, so they, their relationship got kind of fucked up, man. And, um, you know... They separated for a while, and as and, uh, soon as they got back together and was talking, chopping it up, trying to figure shit out, man, my boy Lawrence fucked around and got his joint pregnant. Oh. <laughs> he got a joint pregnant on Issa. So he, like, got back, he got back with Issa. It yes. It was booming. It was booming, got, chilling. Got, he got a, his, and he the got joint a, he was fucking with right before was, Issa. The joint that he was messing with at that time. But before Issa, before Issa came back, called him like, yeah, yo, I'm pregnant. I'm like, What? Is this what's going on? You know what Issa did? She's such a real one. You a real, I'm going to call you a real one. She walked to her balcony and lit a joint. I said, I felt your energy, my nigga. She said, you know, I got to smoke one right this second because I'm fucking stressed out. So now this nigga standing there crying in the fucking kitchen. This shit looking stupid. What was he crying for? Nigga was like, oh, I ain't mean to do that. What do you mean you didn't mean to do it? Issa went, I ain't going to lie, she went crazy. Yo, wasn't he the nigga that was working at the the mail thing or something? Or what was he working at? He was at working time? at like a like a, like a Home Depot or something, he, or like a video store, some shit like yeah, like a Best yeah, Buy, some I, shit like that. See, I remember a little sign, Issa. Yeah, you know man. Saying? But now nah, they did okay. a fucking great job, man. I, I really, you know, can't wait for season five. Got to wait next year. <sighs> but I'm mad man. I'm not caught up in that show because I, I that I mean even though it's like a female type show, mm-hmm. like. Living single was a female nah, show. Girlfriends was a that, single that's show. That's what exactly, exactly. For, for, it was like for females. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Not a single show. It was mm-hmm. a, a, like something catered to females. You right. know what I'm saying? Sex in the city was catered to, to females. females. But yeah. at that time, the girl I was dealing with, she used to be into. So you be right there smoking like, like oh, this is crazy. Nah, you gotta uh, chill with your joint and watch the fire shows, man. You got to. It's only right, man. But yeah, we here on episode twelve, man. I'm excited, man. Oh yeah, uh, shout out to shout out to my baby Dana. You know what I'm saying? It's Gemini season. Her birthday just passed, so yeah, happy shout birthday, to, shout again. To D- ay, 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 ay. Uh, oh, we got it. Uh, yo, you want to want to want to get on? Yeah, I, I wasn't like, gonna <laughs> speak on this, the, right? Uh, <sighs> I mean, we got to talk about the gaff list sometimes, too, though. I wasn't going to speak on this, but fuck it. Fuck it. We already here, man. And if you still listening, man, shout out to you, man. For real, for real. Uh, B. Simone, right? Now, I didn't see the book. I never seen the book before, but you showed me. 
mm-hmm. the book. He was like, yo, my, my lady ordered it. Because I was talking about this in, in pre-show, right? And I was saying, yo, because we didn't talk about this last week. When, when she said the nine to five hey, That shit, was kind of tricky. That was kind of crazy. That was kind of crazy when B. Crazy. Simone said that. But was I wasn't going to come on here and hang B. Simone for that. Because, you know, she's young. People say wild shit. Like, she lived my life, man. Whatever. So I was like, all right, cool. I ain't gonna hang on that. I ain't even I ain't even shed no light on it. I just I let Definitely it I long, let it yeah. rock. You know what I'm saying? So this week, she did like a uh I saw like a video floating around where she tried to like explain it. And she was like talking like in that high pitch, like she was da, 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 da. and I just saw one of the people in the thread on Twitter. They said, damn, I had this shit on mute, and that shit still hurt my ears. I said, nah, see, people on the internet, they, they're they ruthless. They're ruthless. Yo, I ain't gonna but, lie. That's crazy. Now, on a serious note, the B. Simone shit was like... I'll see you later. We caught next week. Next week? Listen, just put it right here. Bring your own fucking lighter. Why man. I gotta sit my lighter in the yeah, middle? It's, it's my it's shit. Why I can't have nigga. it on the side by my fucking... Yeah, you set up grandma, I, I, grandma I, I, fucking <laughs> ashtray. We gotta get some fucking. Look grandma used to have a wild cigarette in his ass. Yo, look at this ass. shit, yo. <laughs> this look like the shit Rick James used to put wild cig cigarettes out in on the tour bus. He like the type of nigga. He slide a cigarette, take two puffs, and put the whole shit out. Like, oh man, <laughs> <laughs> this is a fucking tour bus ashtray. That shit. Oh, like, nah, man. this is definitely a hotel hell to fucking motel ashtray. Nah, this ashtray. is this is the Howard Johnson ashtray. <laughs> Yo, oh, man, we really laid up these ashtrays, though. I'm fucking crying. Oh, these are definitely dumb. the ashtrays that niggas be having in a Howard Johnson <laughs> in the smoking room. <laughs> you walk in there, you be like, oh, man, I can tell. Somebody was in there smoking wild ports. <laughs> All right, look, B. Simone, on some serious shit. She did a book about manifesting, uh, you know, law of attraction, speaking into existence, you know, all that shit, right? And... I saw somebody post something like, oh, that was my, those were my quotes in the book. You know what I'm saying? I had never seen the book until I came over and right. showed it to me earlier. I had never seen the book. But I heard she had made, got like a million dollar deal. Can I please have my fucking lighter back? Look, see, this is what happens. You lit it and then you just sat the I shit. I did. Y'all next, seen that? Like, I put it right you, there. You like, hold up. The I, might, I might need this So again. it's like I would have to ask for it back or something. Like, come on, man. That's wild. That's fine, but, man. Somebody was saying, like, she took some shit that they had. I guess they wrote them in tweets or memes or whatever. And she put different people's shit in her book. So so this only came up, right, when she said the nine to five shit. Mm-hmm. So, you know, when they love you, they fucking with you. Mm-hmm. But when they not fucking with you. They are not fucking with you. Oh, it is a bad thing. They and talk crazy. for her book that had been out for a while, and for people to now be like, "Oh, she had my stuff in a book," and her book, she made she she made a million dollars off of things that I wrote. Under, and now I heard she had to pull the book. See, that's the only reason why I'm talking about this because it's a bigger story than the nine to five shit. Now it's right. But no, like, tell the people how the book looked though. Let's 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 just get them an idea. We don't got to get into detail. I'm just talking about like how it looked like. The book looked like. It looked like Journey Coloring Book, my nigga. The book looked like when you go to a, a R and B concert, and they give you, <laughs> they give you oh the, the God, booklet, yo. and they tell you everybody that's performing on this show. You're fucking stupid. You know that? I'm fucking. I'm high. You dumb high. <laughs> but it do though. The book do look fucking stupid like that though. It do. Remember we went. Remember we went out to the show that night with our ladies, and we took them to see a uh, Tyrese and Avant. Genuine, genuine Joe, Drew Hill. It wasn't they have they had books like books. that at the forum. They had yo. Everything. The forum was turned that night, man. It was not. Look, I'm not trying to make fun of B Simone book because B Simone she figured out a way to capitalize to make mm-hmm. even if she used other shit that other people said right. in their tweets or whatever. She figured out a way to make that bag. Which yeah, you can't did. be mad. I'm not mad at that. Not mad at that at all. Which she, and Get I'm not mad at her how she feel about her nine to five shit. I just feel like she worded it wrong. She explained it wrong. The reply and the, the yeah. double back was it was whatever. But and a nine to five nigga might just be for her though. But this is also a platform where we can agree to disagree. disagree. So I'm cool. I'm cool if I don't if people don't agree with 
what she said, like, cool. Right. She might not agree with what you said, but she just worded it wrong, I feel like. <laughs> I'm like, I want to see what he's going to do after he uses this fucking lighter. No, nah, but... Bad, yo. But... I don't know. I just felt that. Well, how, how do you feel? Because you have the book. How do you feel about now finding out that a lot of the shit in the book was from okay. like other people? And how do you feel about her pulling the book? Because she pulled the book from... from, yeah, yeah. And if that's, that's how she crazy. got a deal to get the money, they might be like, oh, now you owe us money. And uh, like, I don't, well, Hopefully uh, she cleared everything, first yeah, of all. Hopefully. Hopefully, but, um, hopefully. Most definitely. Okay, so <clears throat> my, my thoughts on the book, man, I feel like the price was wrong. Like, if you're going to... Like ship that book out, and the way you present it is like something for you to actually sit down and read. But it's not that, and you charging thirty five dollars for a fifteen dollar book. It's you know what I'm saying just don't make no fucking sense to me. I'm saying just be fair with the people. You got that bag. You got that million. You know, next go round, just make sure you do right. But as far as the people you plagiarized from, you should have definitely had them included. Well, I hope you gave them some type of bag. But most nine times out of ten, when people talk, they ain't get no bag. And and for her to, I feel like for her to pull the book. Yeah, you pulled the book, so you like it's like you for knew her something, to pull the book. Something. It must have been like it must have even been too many people mm-hmm. to try to pay, or she didn't have you know nothing figured out with. No, she definitely not about to pay nobody. Like you know what I'm saying. Be some more. No, no, no. She's not paying nobody. But what's crazy is none of this wouldn't have, none of this came up until she did the nine to five shit and people were talking about be some more canceled, be some more canceled. Nobody was talking about. Nobody said a word. The book been out for and, forever. And nobody said a word. That's a prime she made example a of. A million dollars for the book. How long you think it was out? That's a prime example of. <laughs> Come on. That's be a prime serious. example of when you rolling, sometimes. Let the ball roll. Let the ball roll. Just that let the it. ball roll until that shit slow down and comes to a full stop. Don't do shit to fuck up the way your ball is rolling. You know what I'm saying? Don't. And take care of your people you work with, man, please. That's like, you know, everybody in your team, you got to take care of your people. You might not, you can't get them the biggest bag, but give them something. Look, look, man, uh... But, um, what's up? What's, what's going on? For all man? of the people that listen to the Loud Opinions podcast, just want to tell y'all, we greatly appreciate y'all. True. And for everybody truly. that's viewing the Loud Opinions podcast, we greatly appreciate y'all. The whole opinionated crew, whether you listening to it in your car, in your crib, or you wherever wherever you listening to it, wherever you watching it at, like, just know we appreciate it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, with that said. If you don't want to hear any of this, like, because we've been doing like the porn yeah. star versus draft, so you know how they, star hall of film. so how they left last These last week. couple episodes, we we've been like, we've been like, you know, this has been our little thing because we had to, you know, sometimes the shit so crazy in the world, you got to take your mind off of this shit. So I agree, I agree. If you are not interested in any mm-hmm. of this porn star versus, yeah. Draft. Well, no, we battles, did the draft last week. We're about to do the battle. We're about to, do we're the about battles. to get into the fucking battle. We did the draft last week, battle this if week. If you are not interested in that, no. see you on episode 13. Appreciate man. you for listening, Pre- man. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for uh, fucking with us. You know what I'm yes. saying? Thank you. Hold up. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for viewing. If you are not into the porn star versus battles that we are about to get into, we will see you on episode. 13. 13. Yes. With that being said, dun, 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 dun. Uh, uh. let's get into it. This is the Loud Opinions podcast, podcast. Porn Star versus Battles. The first verses. Oh, man. Of many. <laughs> we, we have a few. We, we actually have 15. Yeah, we got, we got <laughs> so. We, that just lets you know what type of niggas we are, first off. Look, man. <laughs> 15 Yo, the fact, names. Look, 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 man. The fact that we had enough time to put together 15 <laughs> versus battles. My, listen, listen, do the math. It's stars. 15 spots with two people in these spots. Like. So that means we picked out 30, <laughs> 30. porn stars and figured out battles. Oh, 
Different type of niggas, man. Different type of breed over here, man. Come on, man. Let's let's. All right, look. First of all, shout out to all porn stars. I just want to let you know over here at the Loud Opinions Podcast. We appreciate you. We appreciate you. We appreciate you. We appreciate you. Uh. So let's get into it, man. Get into get it, into man. It. So up first, we have Beauty Dior. Versus Cherokee. Who you got? Who you got? Who you got? Who you got? Man, that's that's a that's a, that's a, that's a cold hearted time, man. That's a time, man. I can't can't separate the two. They were a team. They worked together. This is true. This is true. <laughs> talk about it. Let's talk about it, man. Beauty I'm, and Cherokee, I'm, man. It's a time, man. I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Beauty though. Yeah, you know, well, you know, Beauty's my all-time favorite. Yeah, I'm. A, I'm a, you know, she's not number, saying not saying that she's Cherokee my she's my number one. She's my number great one. Great too, but I probably just had more nights with Beauty Dior scenes. That's how that's how I'm doing these battles. In my mind, these battles are all being judged right, right. by who I've spent more time with on my lonely time. Yeah, like just me and my computer. See, because I watch them like, come up together, so me. it's kind of I got a different relationship with them. Nah, it's true, it's true, it's true. But I'm, I'm gonna go with. I think I'm gonna go with Beauty for that. Right, Shout out to Cherokee. That's Shout out to Cherokee, man. I, I love y'all bodies of work, man. Yeah. Y'all got a body of work. <laughs> the bodies of work. <laughs> All right, All right so, so up next, up next. Up next, we, we got have. Jada Fire versus Pinky. Who you got? Who you got? Man, man, listen, man. I got I to gotta go with the nasty-ass Pinky, man. Got Ooh. to. Got to, man. She's a filth god. You hear me? Yeah. Pinky's a filth guy. Disgusting. And she, she, I remember she used to have a Pinky XXX site. I used to go there for the oh, up, yeah. I used to go there for the updates. Pinky and friends. So I, yeah, yeah, you gotta, you know, yeah, little she, thirty second clips. Fire. She ventured know. off into the directing shit early. Yeah, she caught win. <laughs> she caught win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no. Um, as Ooh. crazy as this may sound, as crazy as this may sound, I might have to go with Jada Fire <sighs> over Pinky. See, that's where we agree to disagree, but that's fine. It's, it's cool. All right. It's, it's cool. all right. It's, it's all right. Cool. I might have to. I might have to go with uh, Jada Fire. Jada Fire. Jada Fire. She's fire too, though. All right. Fire. So yeah, who, who we got next? We got um. Who we got next, man? We got Cakey mm. versus Roxy Reynolds. Cakey versus Roxy Reynolds, the goat. Sheesh. I think I'm gonna go with Roxy Reynolds. Oh, I'm for sure going with Roxy Reynolds. But <laughs> if if we was talking like slots, if we was talking sloppy top, I'm definitely going with Cakey. But just all around in the battles and scenes, the all like, around Roxy filled. got wild scenes. Yeah, wild like, work, wild work. Yeah, she got wild scenes. So it's probably, I don't know. I'm probably going with Roxy for that one. Yeah, I'm definitely going with Roxy for that one, man. Shout out to Roxy, man. Okay. Well, oh, that's, that, that's the first time we agreed on something? Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's the first one. All right. That's okay. the first one. So we getting yeah, somewhere. Yeah, we all right. Clap, we clap, all right, man. Clap, clap it up for that. Right. Clap it up for that. Clap it up for that. Okay, we that's cool. Right. That's cool. Who, who, that's cool. Who we got, man? Um, mm. This going to be... <laughs> Jasmine Cashmere versus Cinnamon Love. I'm going with... You know, listen. I'm Jasmine Cashmere might be like top three. She's ever. That I'm good. That's what I'm cinnamon, going with. Cinnamon Love is a legend too. Though. She's a legend though, cause she was she she was like Jasmine Cashmere back in the day. Yeah, Cinnamon so that's, Love. That's what oh, made me man. think of them. They like similar feel. I'm going. I'm going to tie with that one. I can't say I can't take Jasmine Cashmere over Cinnamon Love, but I can't take Cinnamon Love over well, Jasmine, Jasmine Cashmere. Cashmere that's so. true. That's true. That's true. Ah shit. Those are like two of my favorites, all time. Yeah, Jasmine Cashmere. Mm -hmm. She 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 gave her life over to God. So you know, it, it and you know what's crazy? There's nothing wrong with that. Jasmine Cashmere gave her life over to God, and she was so filthy, like so. I'm filthy, okay bro. with it. It's all right. Like, with I'm me. like, you know what? You have supplied me with so much filth to view. You can do whatever you want to do with whatever. your life at this point, sister. Like, may the Lord be with you. Yes, amen. May the Lord be with all of us. Yes. All jokes aside. But back to this. Yes, uh, back battle. to this thing, man. All right, man. so yeah. We got Jasmine Cashmere and Cinnamon Love. That's the top. Right. We agree on that. Cool. Right. So, um, next. 
Next, we got Angel Eyes versus Misty Stone. Ooh, that's tough. That's tough. Missy Stone was like the, the, the nasty petite joint. And I love I, never, I love her, her uh, lesbian scenes. It's amazing. Oh wow. I never yeah. really I never used to watch the the, the uh, girl on girl scenes. Not like not that. too much. Not too much. Like I would watch threesome scenes with Yeah, no, nah, for sure. For but sure. I never used to watch like the girl on girl scenes. But shout no. out to Misty Stone too. Yeah, Misty she's Stone funny, is my yeah. people's. Uh Angel Eyes was like yeah, but on the I, come I up. I think I probably watched more Angel Eyes scenes mm-hmm. than Misty Stone. So Misty, don't get mad at me. Don't get mad at me. <laughs> Misty, I fuck with you. Don't be no, mad. I fuck with Misty too. It's, she, that's, she, that's, she's that's, tough. That's she, people, she, she, she's tough. That's a tough one, man. Uh, that's a tough one. Cause I might have to go with Angel Eyes on that one. No, nah, I'm going with Misty on that one. All right. That's all right. Keep yeah. somebody keep tabs with this, man. Please, please, please keep tabs. Nothing keep wrong tabs. With this. Um, who we got next on the list, man? <laughs> this is this is a good one, man. We got Candace Vaughn versus the body. Ooh. Mm. See, I don't know. Candace Vaughn got a lot of work out there though. Lots of work. Candace Vaughn and the body got some I I'm gonna go I, the body got some got she some got some good work, too. yeah. She has some fire head videos. But, fire. Yeah, Candace Vaughn get filthy. Yeah. Candace Vaughn got like some filthy scenes. Yeah. So we might have to go with Candace on that one. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with Candace Vaughn. All right. We're gonna go with Candace on that one. All right, man. cool. Once again, let me make sure I drink some yes. water. We here, man. This episode, yeah, with our is, fucking this verses, episode man. is sponsored by Peach Tree Exotics. Shout out to my homegirl Jada Stevens. I'm Two smoking, cheeks I'm back. smoking on the porn star OG right now. Jada 420. Just want to let y'all know that. Um, if you still here with us on this episode 12. <laughs> You're fucking filthy. Look, this porn star versus battles thing we got going. Just know I fucks with you. Yeah, like, we fuck with you heavy. Whether you a male, female, whatever. If you, li- listen, with, whatever. Whatever you desire in this world. We probably put niggas here, on right now. If you are still here for this conversation, just know I fucks yeah. with you. I fucks with you. Deeply, deeply. So, Next, 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 next. Oh, this is a goodie. This is see, this is one of the ones I had in the tuck. This is a, a good one. Um, Sarah J versus Jenna Jameson. Ooh. That's a fucking goodie. I know who I'm going with though. Oh, we switch. This is this. This is the switch up. This is this is when we this. show. This is when we show how diverse <laughs> our filth is. Yes, you feel me? Yes, it's levels to the shit. Levels to the shit, man. Those those you that's yeah that's like le- legend uh, level. Yeah, they we went both fucking here. legendary, legendary work. But I got to go with um, Sarah on that one, man. I love Jenna. You know how much I love Jenna Jameson too. But Sarah's like, yeah, you surprising me right now. Like you the Jenna Jameson like, yeah, fan club uh, uh, leader. Okay, what's on with Santiago? Like, nah, I'm going. I'm, I'm going. I'm going with Sarah. I'm going with Sarah J. I'm going with Sarah. Yeah, J. Sarah. Sarah, Sarah, man. All she right, so. she easily won that one, man. Shout out to you. All right, so the next else, one? Yeah, who else we got? Who else we got? All right. So we have Tori Black versus Natalie Brooks. That's, uh, they both little petite joints. Fire. Disgusting. I might have to call that a tie, though. For me personally, I ain't going to lie. That's a tie for me. I go with Tori Black. Tori Black? All right. Yeah, Tori Black is fire. I go with Tori Black on that one. Yeah, that's that's just me. That's just yeah, me. That's just you don't you. have to. Yeah, nah, man. I got, I, yeah. Well, I'm going. I'm going with a tie, man. All right, all right. You go with Tori. I'm going with a tie. All right. All right. So so so, so we just, next so, we got we got man. we got Maya G versus Isla Fox. Why the fuck would you do that to me? This is we're now we're this is this is like second oh, half. Shit. This is like we're in like the third quarter right now. Maya G versus Isla Fox. Maya G versus Isla Fox. It's like never ending filth. Never ending. Never They're both ending. pretty as fuck. Damn. Oh man. I might have I might I know I'm gonna go with Ty. I'm gonna save myself and go with the tie because I was about to pick one person, Ooh. but I'm gonna go with the tie. I'm gonna go with the tie for that one. I was on I, I, I ain't gonna lie. 
I was I was almost close with the tattoo, but I think I'm gonna go Maya G. That's where I was going with it. <laughs> that's where I was going with it. He said that's where I was going with it. I was going Maya G, but then it's nah, like Ice think, and Fox is fire. Yeah, they. I I, I I I don't know. I was gonna call that a tie. I was gonna call that a tie. Yeah. But once again, I've probably had more. Lonely Maya, nights yeah, Maya with Maya G. G. No, I'll definitely, my yeah, for sure. And, definitely and watch crypto, more Maya G. So, yeah, I'm going Maya G. Yeah, but shout out to I, shout out to everybody that we're On, naming. Like, yeah, you made want, this like, shit. Yeah, I don't don't take this too personal. This is just all fucking filthy minds just coming up with some shit to talk about. Yeah, <laughs> doing some dope shit. That's all, man. Get in tune. <laughs> so who, who we got next, man? Who you got on the list, man? Uh, Sky Black. Versus Capri Styles. Oh, you're not fucking playing fair. You're not playing fair at all. We're in the third quarter, man. Fuck. Yeah, that was that stumbled me. I ain't gonna lie. The sky black fire. Capri right, Styles I'm, I'm, fire. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go with a tie. With a tie? I'm gonna go with a tie. Cause I I I, I, can't I gotta really, agree with that one. I can't really. We going with a tie? Sky black. And yeah. Capri Styles. I can't. Yeah, I can't separate right, cool. the two. I can't really. I was trying can't to think. Have one without the other. Yeah, you know you can't. You know? Yeah. So yeah, we'll agree, we agree on that. We agree on that. Yeah. Sky Black and Capri Styles. It's a tie. It's definitely a tie. Definitely. Right, cool. So, who we got next? Let me see. <laughs> Ooh, Monet Devine and Tiana Trump. You know, you know who I'm going. You know already. You already know who I'm going. I'm going Monet Devine. Filth. Filth. Tiana Trump, fire. But I got to go Monet Devine on that. I'm sorry. She's a fucking legend. In her own right. Mm. You going TT on that? You going? No, I, I'm not going to. I don't want to go. I'm not going to go with her. But she, she's filthy, yo. No, she is. And she I'm not is. even. She don't got into, no limits I'm not, so If you do. notice, I'm not even in, like, none of, this is not even, like, this is all just, like, big asses, just. Yeah. Just that. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, she's not even that. She don't even have a big ass. Like she, fire though. But she's just filthy. Yeah, and I would feel crazy if, if she, if I did. I don't know. Like I would just, I would have to call that a tie. All right, well, I'm going with Monet, man. You call that tie, I'm, man. I got, I got it. Shout out to Monet, Monet Devine because that's my man. people's too. Yeah, I'm, I kind of want to go straight Monet Devine too. I kind of do. We got but, no. Let's, but, just, let's but, just give it to her. Let's just give it to but her. It's, it. But it's. I feel like it's. The t- you want to just, just just give it to her? Yeah, I gotta give it at the Monet. I'm sorry. We don't. I mean, do what you want. You do what you want to do. But I'm going with Monet. Shout out to you. I think I'm gonna call that a tie. All right, nah. Somebody keep I, tabs, man. I think. Let I, us know what I, I we got with call this that shit. A tie. All right. Um. Ooh. <laughs> Jada Stevens. Oh, I already know him. And Luna Star. I'm fucking no brainer. Well, I'm telling you, Luna Star got some, got some good. No, she too. got work. She got work. Nah, but Jada, Jada, Jada Stevens got wow. She got wild different looks. Like you, you, you search Jada Stevens, you find like short hair. You're like, oh, she had the short hair. Yeah, she going whatever then vibe you going like, for. She got hair. Then she got like, oh, she had blonde shit. Oh, she, she got, got black. Like, yeah. Oh, she, mm-hmm. she got different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Nah, man, Jack, come on. That's she's Jada's filthy the too. Homie. She's, she's gotta... filthy too. Not even just because. She's the homie because it's a lot of my homies that I didn't pick to win in a lot of these situations. That's true. They might, That's they true. might, they might be, a, they might be a little mad at me. Don't be mad at me. Like, come on, you know I love all of y'all. It's Mills. I mean, come on. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I'm, I got Jada Stevens over. Yeah, we're going, we're going with Jada, man. All right, so yeah, we we agree on that. All right, Jada Stevens over Luna Star. So who yeah. we got? Who we got next? We got um. Oh, this is a good one. Ooh. I know, I know. You probably gonna Lisa N versus Gianna Michaels. I'm going with Gianna Michaels. This is crunch time right now. It is. You said what? It's getting critical. I'm going with Gianna Michaels. Ooh. Straight up. I'm going with Lisa Ann. I'm going with Lisa Ann. And... Nah, you know what? <sighs> come on, Gianna Michaels. Come, come on. Legend. Fucking legend, man. Don't act don't act crazy. All right, man. All right, Come all right, on. All right. I'm I'm going to tie. I'm going to tie. You going to tie? I'm going with Gianna. I'm going with Gianna. I already know. <laughs> oh fuck. 
Nah, but I kind of, I kind of, I got to go Lisa Ann, yo. I got to go Lisa Ann over Gianna Michaels. Lisa got more recent body of work, though. Nah, but I, I've probably had more lonely nights with Lisa Ann scenes than I did with Gianna Michaels. That's how I'm judging this. I'm judging this off of, of the lonely nights, man. Yeah. Nights like this, I wish that porn stars would call. <laughs> nights like this, I wish would call. <laughs> All right, who we got next? Who we got next? Ah, oh, man. We, we almost had it. almost at the end. Monica Santiago versus Ava Devon. Ava Devon. Yeah, I was like. Ava I'm Devon. High, it's yeah, I'm high. To catch on. I already I'm, know. I'm, I'm going with the time now. I, I, I knew it. I yeah, knew I'm it. Going with the time now. I knew it. I can't. I'll be here all day trying to think about this scene. Like it's too. It's too now. Nah, nah I'm, I. I can't even do that. Yeah. We don't have that much time left. We don't have that all much right. time left. Well, shit. It's a tie for them. Yeah, I'm definitely going. With, uh, look. Monica Santiago and Ava it's Devine. Fav- two favorites. His favorites. They're up there with like in that top five. It's Jasmine Cashmere yes. up there. My up there. I don't know why I'm feeling Maya so much. Maya, Maya G fire. and Beauty might be up there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. They might be up there, but Monica Santiago and Ava Devine is for like, sure up there. They like fighting for a spot. Like, right. Like. And I, I'll never be able to figure it out. So it's yeah, like, you can't take one without yeah, the time, other, man. So all right, so last one on the list we got. Last one on the list for oh, the Loud Opinions with? podcast: Porn Star versus for, yes. Battles. Look, we're, we're just here. having some fun with this. It's a real wild time in the world right now. Trying to be on we some just, cool shit, man. We just enjoying ourselves. You know, having some fun. If you're still listening, if you're still viewing, shout out to you, man. Shout out to you. We fuck we with you. The you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the opinionated. Um, so for the last round, we got Bridget B versus Brandy Bay. I might have to go uh, Bridget on that. All right, well, that's we 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 we. I, you know what? That's not a tie though. I I I I would say it was a tie, but when I sat back and I thought about it, Brand, I don't think Brandy Bay. Got enough scenes that I that I've seen that I could. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I could have probably called that a tie, but no. Nah, I, I think I, I, I think overlooked I, a lot of her work, so that's why I said Bridget. I think B, I man. like. I think I like Bridget B scenes a little more. Yeah, I'm going with Bridget, man. Hmm. That was cool, man. We we got we did our first. Yeah, man. Shout out to all porn star oh, verses. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. A lot of pins podcast. Shout man. out to <laughs> all of the porn stars that. We named in this once again. This is not nothing that serious. This is just some shit we in. some cool fun just shit. Some shit cool. We was doing, you know, just joking around a few episodes ago. So I just thought it'd be dope to do it. But once again, shout out to all the porn stars we named in the porn star versus battles on the Loud Opinions yes, y'all podcast. Made the cut, man. Episode twelve. Mm, got that shit right that time. I ain't forget. Yeah, huh. Huh. nigga, fuck is you talking about, man? Oh my nigga, high man. Look. Look, man, uh, once again, happy Father's Day. Yes, happy Father's Day to the um, real rights. Happy birthday to my baby Dana. You know what I'm saying? Gemini season, love you, baby. Um, yeah, man. So what you what you getting into this week, man? Mm, might get into a little vacation. Window seat him, please. You, you out there? You know what I'm saying? I gotta get away. I gotta get away. <laughs> I'm hop off the plane like Bobby. Oh, in a, kicking. In a, and I know you're kicking. <laughs> oh, oh, dealing with him. Nigga, Bobby hopped off the fucking chopper. That's how I'm hopping off the plane oh, with the Jesus. motherfucking gloves and the mask on. <laughs> Just like that. Going to baggage claim like, I know you're getting pulled. No. So where you headed, man? Where you, where you about to go, man? Might make a little Miami trip. Hey, I mean, there ain't too many places you're going to go. Like, Nah, that sounds fire for right now, though. I ain't going to lie. Ain't too many places you could go. Nigga wanted to Shit. hit a little Cabo. Nah, you definitely not going to Cabo. Swerve. Right <laughs> On 22. <laughs> Swerve. You got to go to the United States. Yeah, man. Look, uh, 
But yeah, this is the Loud Opinions Podcast, man. It's the Loud Opinions Podcast, man. I'll let y'all know how my trip went when I uh, get back next episode. <laughs> yeah. Pack your bags ready? Come on, man. This oh, is, he wanted, he wanted to See, minute. that's the shit I'm talking about. Last man. minute, Millsy. Oh, man. You know if the flight leave is seven, I'm packing at one. Because soon as, I, soon as I zip the bag <laughs> and it's done, Run that's out when the I'm door. on my way out the door. Getting to the airport, I'm angry, sweating. Because like, Yo, you rushing. Because I, I wanted to finish the blunt. Like, that's what it always is. Nah, nah, but Dana ain't going to let me do all that shit. Especially nah. with all this, she gonna, if the flight leave is seven, she gonna want to be there at three fifteen. Like, babe, yo, no, you gonna be. <laughs> that's black, D. That's black. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, yo, man. why do we gotta get there so early? Like, <laughs> I'm crying. No, because they gonna probably gonna be doing special checks and all of that. Like, all right, man. So, I'm probably <laughs> gonna, I'm probably gonna pack when I leave here. Yeah, man, get into that, man. Go, go hand Look, man, out, man. This is the Loud Opinions Podcast. podcast. I am Jay Mills. I'm Young Lennox. Love y'all, man. Salute. Have stay a blessed. blessed week. Stay safe and stay out the way. Stay prayed up. Already, man. You already know. Uh. All right. Now, real talk. I'm gonna pack. I'm gonna please pack your shit, man. I probably pack like in the morning. Like, yo, hold up. This shit. Nah, we wildin'. What? This might fuck around. Be the longest episode. I think too. so. Yeah, see? All that fucking porn filth talk. That's why. <laughs> hey, we're going to keep all of it. Fuck it. Nah, I ain't editing shit. Fuck that. Straight up. Yeah.